Hello everyone! In this video we'll be taking a journey to some famous nebulae. These are the Horsehead, Carina, Ring and Eagle nebulae in the Milky Way galaxy. All of this will be shown using the Space Engine Planetarium. Let's go! And to start off guys, I want to show you how these nebulae look from the surface of the Earth. I've landed somewhere in the very center of Australia and already we can clearly see the magnificent Carina nebula. Now I will use a powerful telescope and show you precisely how this incredible nebula appears up close. Here it is. Now I'll show you what the Ring Nebula looks like. The Ring Nebula is a planetary nebula. And there it is. I'll use the powerful telescope and show you exactly how it looks from the very surface of the Earth. What a truly magnificent sight. And from this vast continent you can also clearly see the Eagle Nebula. That's where it is. I'll use the telescope again and let's take a closer look. Here is the Eagle Nebula itself. And in this nebula are the famous Pillars of Creation. By the way, maybe you can already see them now. Unfortunately, the Horsehead Nebula can't be seen from Australia. It's located on the other side of the planet. And it's located somewhere over there. But I'll even make the journey down to Antarctica then. So I've successfully gone down to Antarctica, and that's precisely where the nebula is. Focusing. Alright, let's use the telescope again and take a look. Yes, maybe you can already see that horse. Well anyway, I'll show you in more detail later. Now then, let's examine each nebula separately. We'll fly to each one of them. So the first nebula we'll visit today is the Eagle Nebula. And in this nebula there are the famous pillars of creation that everyone knows. Here, I've flown closer. This is how it looks in the Space Engine Planetarium for example. And for instance I can also increase the exposure and highlight it so to speak. This nebula has this kind of shape like a triangle sort of. I'll set the exposure back to normal. Oh, it got dark right away. It's almost unusual. Right guys? So in this nebula there are those very pillars of creation that everyone knows. In Space Engine this is more or less how they actually appear and look. And you can even look at them from this angle. It really does look like what we see in the photos. I also want to say a little more about these pillars of creation. According to data from the Spitzer Infrared Telescope, the pillars of creation were already destroyed by a supernova explosion about 6000 years ago. But since the nebula is located 7000 light years from Earth, we'll still be able to observe the pillars for about another thousand years. That's the information from Wikipedia. It says the distance is 7000 light years from Earth. I selected Earth and using the Space Engine Planetarium as an example, it says the distance is 5656 light years. So according to this planetarium, it's actually a little bit closer. I found a planet not far from this nebula, an icy planet. It has an atmosphere. And the Eagle Nebula, as seen from its surface at night, looks like this. The view of the nebula from here is truly magnificent. And of course you can see those pillars of creation. Also guys, I'll show you this nebula from all sides. Take a look at how it appears, not just from that side. All in all, it's a fascinating nebula. I also want to tell you a bit more about these pillars of creation. Why are they called that? Because new stars are actively forming here, within this vibrant region. Now let's fly to the next nebula. This is the Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula. Oh what a truly marvelous sight appears before our very screens. This is indeed a beautiful and intricate nebula. If I zoom out you can clearly see that besides the bright center there are also these two distinct red rings. That's precisely why it's called the Ring Nebula. Yes, the Ring Nebula. Look, its shape is visible everywhere, not just in a single plane. Cool? Well guys, the Ring Nebula is a planetary nebula in the constellation Lyra. The nebula is located 2300 light years from Earth. By the way, that's the information you can find on Wikipedia. And if you look from roughly the center of this nebula, say from somewhere around here towards Earth, what distance does the planetarium show? The planetarium shows a distance of 705 light years. There's actually a really big difference with this distance. Well, I don't know who to believe. Let me know in the comments. Here's some more information about this nebula. The Ring Nebula, like any other planetary nebula, is a white dwarf surrounded by a shell of ionized gas. Such objects are formed when a red giant, a star in the late stages of evolution, sheds its outer shell into the surrounding space, leaving behind only a degenerate core, a white dwarf. Well, let's take a look at what kind of white dwarf is located at the center of this nebula. What kind of stellar remnant is it? Here it is, this very white dwarf. I'm flying over to it. 
It turns out there's even a binary system here. There's also a red dwarf here. That's cool, but I'm interested in the white dwarf, so I'm flying straight towards it. And this is how it looks here, at the center of the nebula. Auto mode. Here the mass is 0.92 times the mass of the sun and the diameter is 17 or 177 kilometers. I also want to show you the view of this nebula from the surface of the nearest system. Here I am on one of the planets, and there's an atmosphere here too. And at night, you can see this beautiful nebula in the sky. You can also speed up time to watch its movement. And so, it sets below the horizon. Now let's fly to the next nebula. This one will be the Horsehead Nebula. And what an incredible place this is. There are plenty of nebulae in this area. And the view here is just unbelievable. And here is the famously known horse itself. Look, it's like a horse's silhouette. This head here really looks like a horse, which is why this nebula was named the Horse Head Nebula. Here's a little bit of information about this nebula. The Horse Head Nebula is a dark nebula in the constellation Orion. The nebula is approximately three and a half light years in diameter and is located south of Alnitak, the easternmost star of Orion's belt. It is an integral part of the vast Orion molecular cloud, which is a truly huge gas and dust complex where new stars are actively formed, surrounding the magnificent Orion Nebula, which is about 1,300 light years away. The Horse Head is one of the most famous and recognizable nebulae. It appears as a distinct dark spot in the striking shape of a horse's head against a background of vibrant red glow. This glow is precisely explained by the ionization of hydrogen clouds located directly behind the nebula, caused by intense radiation from the nearest bright star. All in all, that's some interesting information. According to the information I got from Wikipedia, the distance from this nebula to Earth is listed as 1,300 light years. In the Space Engine Planetarium, for example, it shows 1,274 light years. So in this case, the numbers more or less match up. Now, I'll show you this nebula in more detail. So the Horsehead Nebula is actually a nebula within another nebula, as we can see. Here you can see this large structure, a big nebula. I'm showing it to you from all sides. If we zoom out, we can see that the Orion Nebula is also not far from here. Here it is, as shown in Space Engine. And if we zoom out even further, we can see many nebulae in this region. Honestly, it's a really beautiful place. If you have Space Engine, you won't regret coming here to explore. I found the nearest planetary system to this nebula. Here, I've landed on the dark side. This planet also has an atmosphere and you can clearly and distinctly see the Horse Head Nebula from this vantage point. So, here is that famously well-known horse. And the view here is simply stunning. What an incredible sight. And here is the Orion Nebula as well. I'll speed up time in this spot and see precisely where the nebula moves. It seems to move almost along the visible horizon line. And now, as I understand it, a star will rise and the nebula will no longer be visible. Now let's fly to the Carina Nebula. This will be the last stop in this video. Here it is, as shown in the Space Engine Planetarium. It's a very beautiful nebula. This is one of the brightest nebulae in the Milky Way galaxy. And in general, the Carina Nebula has other names as well. It's also known as the Keyhole Nebula, or Eta Carinae Nebula. So basically, it's an emission nebula in a region of ionized hydrogen in the constellation Carina. It can be observed in the Southern Hemisphere and in tropical regions of the Northern Hemisphere of Earth. It is located at a distance of 6,500 to 10,000 light years from Earth. Inside the Carina Nebula, there is also the Homunculus Nebula, the Keyhole Nebula, as well as several open star clusters. And as usual, I'll show it to you from all sides. And let me show it to you like this as well. Well, basically it's a nebula like any other, but it's actually very bright. Now let's check the distance. I'll fly roughly here, to the center of this nebula. And let's check the distance to planet Earth, as shown by the planetarium. The planetarium shows 7,438 light years to Earth from here. So, I told you from 6.5 to 10,000. That's according to Wikipedia. Well, give or take, the value turns out to be correct. All in all, wow, it's amazing. There's something everywhere. It really does look beautiful, of course. But as I told you, inside this nebula, there are more nebulae. Let's try to find something. As I understand it, this right here is some kind of nebula. It really looks like a separate one. It's labeled the Mystic Mountain Nebula. Something like that. Oh, and by the way, I found another nebula. 
Here we have a prominent wolf rayet star situated in that nebula. This particular celestial object turns out to be the well-known Homunculus Nebula. There's a wolf rayet star at the center. That's really cool. And it looks like I found another nebula. Let me just show you where it is. I just fly over like this. And here it says it's the Keyhole Nebula. This is the keyhole I was telling you about. It's this dark one. Sometimes the texture disappears, then it comes back. And of course, let's not forget to show you the view from the nearest planetary system. There are lots of stars here, so the choice was huge. Here I've landed on the dark side of the planet. There's an atmosphere here too, guys. I'm repeating this on purpose, so you don't think this is an object without an atmosphere. So this is what the nebula looks like here at night. I'm speeding up time. Here you can see the clouds moving, which is proof that there's an atmosphere. And the view is just amazing. There's a satellite flying by over there. And if you speed it up even more, the nebula moves across the night sky on this planet in all its glory. Incredible. And from space the view is simply gorgeous. You can easily speed up time to watch the planet's orbiting satellite rotate. Well, the view is much more interesting this way. So guys, that's been the incredible journey we had today. We visited some incredibly beautiful nebulae. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and also write a comment about what you thought of this video and which nebula you liked the most. Thank you all so very much for watching and we will see you again very soon in the universe.